Thank you.
That was a little musical interlude for you guys watching at home. No, minus. Oh, good morning to you, Alexis. We are in Grand Fox, currently headed 77 southbound past Wallings. And the snow is flying around, but the roads really are just wet. Our big problem this morning is down on 71. 71 southbound, just south of 76. It's closed because of this accident. Semi on its side blocking all of the lanes. Now, we did have a viewer send us uh, videos and pictures. This is Jeremy Fenton's uh, handiwork and we appreciate that not only did he send us these pictures he also helped the driver get out of the truck so big ups to you Jeremy being a good Samaritan we certainly appreciate that I'm sure the driver does too but we still have 71 southbound blocked uh, just south of 76 so if that is the way you're going to be headed this morning you will be forced off before that point Wayne Christie and Stephanie back to you Yeah. Stacy Fry is out there covering things. She's on the east side this morning. This is along 271 in Orange with a location that she's there, I think. Good morning. It's been a pretty steady flurry here all morning long, but still not a lot of accumulation. The wind has picked up a little bit. 271 still down to wet pavement, and that's a tribute to uh, ODOT crews keeping on top of this, starting with the pre treating around midnight last night, and then just keeping through on their route keep on top of it. Haven't seen anybody have to put their plows down yet, and traffic has been keeping up to speed here. They've been spreading that brine, the salt water mixture to pre-treat, and these crews have more than 43,000 miles of roadway to cover, looping through those routes continuously as long as they need to. But with a storm like this, don't expect that the highways will be consistently perfect. Our goal is to make sure that the roads are drivable. Um, and, you know, that might be drivable at 35 miles an hour, you know, even if you're on the interstate. It definitely give them room to do their jobs. Um, you know, you might think that you have room to pass them and, and try to squeeze in there, but, you know, it's not worth the risk. Definitely not. ODOT has had 21 of their snow plows struck by vehicles while they were doing their roots this winter, and uh, that's not a matchup you want to be in your car against one of those. Lots of room here to spread out on 271, and again, traffic up to speed, wet roads, and we'll see how long that continues. Not a lot of accumulation at this point. Okay, that's good. Yes. <laughs> All right, Jake, thanks. Appreciate it. All right, our team coverage continues uh, with the snow event uh, this morning. Yes, yeah, so Jessica Kidnell has been monitoring things all morning for us, too, on the west side. Yeah, she's in Westbrook this morning with a look at conditions over there. Hey, Jess, good morning. Good morning. Very good conditions over here, I must say. I know we heard that the west side was going to get hit really bad with this one, and that's pretty surprising since we said you suggested that's why you moved to the west side, right? But I will say it's been very good here this morning. Roads are looking great. We knew that the storm was going to during the morning. We you know, a lot of folks had closed down, but I can't say here in Westlake and around this area, it's been wet. It looks like as I look around, it finally did just stop. There's a couple little drops coming down, but 
weekend. Train stop for city car members now through Thursday at 6 p.m. before the general public on Friday at 10 a.m. at RecordMortgageFieldHouse.com. Madonna. It's everything you want in a sofa and so much more. We're designer looks furniture, and we're obsessed with reclining sofas that look like this at a price as comfy as this. Available at Value City Furniture. Remain calm. Grab the head. Grab the head. Animal control. Premieres February 16th.